So apparently the markets liked what the Fed had to say today at the Fed meeting. We have the S&P 500 up 1% on the day, NASDAQ up 2%. Um, we have Bitcoin up slightly on the day. I am still anticipating a retest of the 21-week EMA. Doesn't mean we can't go higher, but I think short term, we should at this point you know, have a nice retracement to the 21-week EMA. We have uh, bearish divergence on the RSI, the MACD, and the stochastic RSI still in bearish divergence. So I think we still have time to move lower. Could we just go straight up? Absolutely. And I think we're getting into a point now where um, we could see a short uh, bull market here simply because the anticipation of a soft landing is here. And we're going to go over that in this video. I still do believe that we will see some level of a recession in late 2023, early 2024, where we could see the bottom for this market. I do believe we, we will retest the lows for Bitcoin at some point. But the question is, what's going to happen in the short term? We could see, um, we could, like I said, we could see a, a bull market here. I'm going to outline why that might happen because we've seen this in the past. We've seen this happen many times. And let's get right into it. So if we look at the global pessimism easing from all-time high, um, there's some more recent charts here, 2023 charts that I couldn't find, but this trend has continued to the upside here where you know investors, retail traders, and um, global fund managers are all getting bullish here. Um, and we've seen this happen in the past where we would see a massive run up in equities. And now we'll also see the same thing most likely in cryptocurrencies into the Fed kind of plateauing their rate, hitting their terminal rate, and then easing. Um, but at some point during the easing process is usually when we see uh, the economy go into recession. The reason for that is that the Fed usually starts their easing process because they have broken something in the economy. And you can see that in a lot of charts where um, certain parts of the economy are doing very well, even though, and ha still have, you know, high inflation. But then you see other parts of the economy that have, you know, reacted very poorly to the increasing interest rates from the Fed. And what ends up happening is to attack those higher inflationary sectors, they have to continue going higher with their interest rates while certain sectors of the economy are already, you know, hurting pretty bad. And they end up pushing those into a very bad situation where we see a recession and they have to start easing in order to kind of bail out certain sectors of the economy, right? So that's kind of the idea here is we're going to see certain sectors continue to, to do well and actually outperform. Crypto could be one of those, you know, for the first, second uh, quarters of 2023, we could see a bull run. Maybe even into Q3, even into Q3, but I'm expecting in Q4 that we could see this flip back. And I'm going to show you exactly why that is. So right now, if we look at the two year, three month inversion, it has not been, it's only been inverted two times in the past uh, couple decades, obviously in 2008 and in 2000, the two most recent crashes. So if we look back into the past, you can see back in 2000 that the yield curve inversion of the two year and the three month happened around the plateauing of the US interest rates. And as the Fed began cutting interest rates, inversion marked the end. This level of yield curve inver inversion marked the end of the Fed rate hiking cycle. We can see here that the yield curve inversion did mark the peak of the US interest rate hikes from the Fed. They then shortly began easing. So we can ex what the market is expecting is the same thing here. And what the market is thinking is, look, we have the inversion, the two-year and the three-month. That means that the Fed has to stop with the 
interest rate hikes. We're going to plateau here. We're going to hit our terminal rate, and then they should very soon start easing monetary policy. That's the thought process of the markets, right? And that means buy now, the bottom's in. Now we're going back to a bull run. It's going to be a soft landing. But we can see in the past, if we look at the price of the S&P, that as the Fed began to ease monetary policy, the crash had only begun in 2007. Same thing in 2008. If we look when they started easing policy, the crash had only just started, right? So what we can expect is if it's anything like 2008, if it's anything like 2001, we can expect that the max pain is actually going to happen during the easing cycle, right? So we can expect that the S&P 500 cryptos and equities could continue to move up as the Fed hikes, um, does rate hikes, and hits a plateau, their terminal rate, we can expect that equities and cryptos could continue to move up in the short term over the next, you know, six to eight months, six, nine months, right? Once the Fed starts lowering those interest rates, that's when we can expect the real crash in the equities market and cryptocurrency. The reason for that is they usually start easing when they've broke something and when these companies are pushed to their limits and their earnings at our all-time lows. One thing to note about the current market conditions, though, is that the difference between 2023, 2008, and 2001 is that inflation was much lower in 2000. It was lower in 2008. The difference is inflation is much higher now than it was back then. You can see in 2000 that before inflation even started coming back down, the Fed started easing. In 2008, inflation started coming down. The Fed began easing, and then inflation shot back up. You can see that the Fed had slight pauses. Inflation then came down rapidly after that. So the question becomes, how fast will inflation come down? Because if inflation comes down slowly, we can expect that the equities market and the crypto market could continue to go up for an extended period of time. But if we see inflation suddenly rapidly decreasing, you could see that the Fed could rapidly pivot and start lowering those rates to try and chase inflation down to try and prevent a economic depression. But I don't think it really matters which one happens, whether the inflation comes down slowly and the Fed has to continue raising those rates higher and longer than people expect, or the Fed has to chase inflation down, it really doesn't matter. The end result's going to be the same. Some level of a recession here. It's just a question of when. And right now it's looking like it could be late 2023, Q4 2023, Q1 2024 could be the start of the recession. But until then, we could see a massive rally in cryptocurrency and equities. So I would say that this is an important time to understand that time in the markets is more important than timing the bottom. I am still anticipating a pullback in Bitcoin. I'm not going all in on a short. I'm shorting with about 5% of my portfolio. I'm still 95% cash at this point. There's too much uncertainty. There's too much volatility in these markets. I am expecting some level of a retracement here for Bitcoin. We've gone up massively over the past month. I wouldn't be surprised if Bitcoin came back and retested that 21-week EMA. But I also wouldn't be surprised if we just kept going up. But it's very hard to say. The daily is looking bearish. The weekly is looking bullish. The monthly is looking bearish. It's, it's very hard to say what's, what's actually going to happen here. Um, I don't really know what's going to happen. You know, I don't know if we're going to go down, go up from here. But I do know this. 
given the data that we have with interest rates, inflation, um, the historical S&P 500 bottoms that we've seen over the past few decades, we can anticipate that at some point we will achieve max pain in 2023 for the markets. Right now we still have inflation. Earnings have not significantly come down yet. And therefore that this can push equities and cryptocurrencies higher. The question becomes, when will we see max pain? When will these indices bottom? I don't think the bottom is in. I think the bottom will happen sometime Q1 2024 or Q4 2023. From now until then, expect massive volatility in these markets. That's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.